Hey, good afternoon. My name is Dr. Ben Bring. I'm a family and sports medicine physician. Uh, I work for a company called Ohio Health in Columbus, Ohio, uh, with a background in both family and sports medicine. So um, after I went to medical school for four years, I did a three-year family medicine residency uh, in Columbus and then stayed on for another one-year fellowship in sports medicine. Uh, so I'm very lucky. I have uh, two board certifications to help treat uh, my patients here. So a uh, typical day looks like for me here in the office. Um, I work as a program director in a, a residency in a family medicine residency. So anything from precepting residents to seeing my own patients. Um, I'm really involved with ultrasound uh, and doing diagnostic ultrasound, ultrasound guided procedures, osteopathic medicine, uh, any kind of joint injections or things like that. Obviously anything preventative medicine or family medicine related. Um, so just kind of a lot of things. I love dermatology procedures, pediatrics uh, as well. Uh, so we joke we'll see just about anybody here in the office, um, including, uh, you know, geriatrics and psychiatry too. So that's what I love about family medicine is that you can kind of do a little bit of everything. So um, what got me into sports medicine was really just uh, my background in sports. Uh, growing up, uh, I played a lot of different sports in high school and in college. Uh, I played football at Denison University. Uh, I spent a lot of time in the athletic training room, unfortunately, and that was really kind of how I developed the interest in sports medicine. So uh, when I was at VCOM, where I went to medical school, I spent a lot of time with team physicians there and did a lot of uh, shadowing experiences and really learning how to be a good team doctor. Uh, here locally, I serve as a team physician for a high school, and then I also work as a medical director of the Cap City Half Marathon. Uh, and the Emerald City Half Marathon, which are two big races here uh, in Columbus. So I get to do a little bit of extra things like that. Uh, when I was in uh, medical school and residency, I was very involved with sports medicine clubs. I was very involved in community service and still serve. Um, I do some work for a local Red Cross organization um, and put together some protocols for their medical teams. Uh, it's called the First Aid Services Team. So um, I still try to stay pretty active with community service and involvement whenever I can. Um, when talking about staying focused with studying, uh, I get this question a lot, you know, in medical school or any school, I always joke with students, it's like, you'll never get less busy tomorrow than you are today. Um, so really just trying to find a good balance, you know, making sure you find time for personal wellness, finding time to exercise, finding time to spend time with friends and family. Um, you know, and it's a, it's a fine line and it's a fine balance because, you know, you really want to study as much as you can. Uh, but I also really believe in that balance of you know, making sure you have, uh, you know, good outlets to, you know, go play basketball or do the things you enjoy, um, go hiking, spend some time outdoors, etc. Things about myself, so things I'm really interested in, uh, medical education, so teaching residents and students. We also have sports medicine fellows that we teach here. Um, I'm really involved with our osteopathic curriculum. Um, point of care ultrasound, I think, is huge. I think that's the future of primary care and family medicine. Uh, so using the ultrasound here in the office is really important for me. Um, getting involved with a lot of community things. Uh, so right now, uh, kind of put on hold due to COVID, but um, you know, like our, our races, you can see the map of the Cap City race in the back there um, and getting involved in those sorts of things. Uh, really just teaching. I love to teach and I love to get involved with students and uh, go to conferences and present any of our research that we're doing. Uh, I just actually presented out at the osteopathic convocation uh, on exercise prescription and OMT and cupping and how you can use that in your day-to-day -day office. So, um, yeah, so I, you know, I'm very passionate about uh, the things I'm involved with. I love sports and sports medicine in general. Uh, family medicine, I think, is gonna be the future of healthcare in America. A couple of key points just to take away uh, from the video is, uh, I always tell people, you know, figure out what you're passionate about and go after it. Um, you know, that's, uh, I think that's one of the most important things you can ask yourself is, is really figuring out like what drives you, what gets you up out of bed in the morning, uh, really, what's, what are you passionate about and what are some things you want to accomplish with your life? Um, I was very fortunate to, I think the other big thing I encourage uh, young students to do is, uh, is to get a mentor if you can in the field uh, in which you're, you're looking to go into, whether that's medicine or you know, any business or any other field, uh, make sure you find a mentor. And then as you go on, I think mentoring is obviously really important as well. Um, anytime in your life, I think it's important to be, so both serve as a mentor uh, and also be a mentee and, you know, uh, uh, and work on kind of on both ends there. So we always use the term called cascade mentoring uh, among medical students too, which I think is really important. So, so thanks so much for tuning in and feel free to reach out if you ever have any questions about family or sports medicine or uh, osteopathic medicine. And uh, yeah, have a great week.